What's up guys, welcome to a brand new video, it's Mangachis here. So I'm back with a brand new video, today is the third stinging video of this stinging series. So today, what I have here is a Polistus Canadensis. Now, I searched it and it is, but there's like two species I think, because this one has red from its abdomen, and there's another one that has black. And that I search, and then the black, the one with the black ab abdomen, you can find them like in like ranch areas, and the red ones, um, you can find them like like uh, like open spaces, grassy areas. Um, so yeah, and also there's another species called Polistis canadensis major or major canadensis, which is related to the Polistis major and the Polistis major major. And the Polistis major candy color. So, like, for me, it's really interesting. And those are related to the executioner wasp, which those are also related to a wasp that I want to get stung by in the future. So, yeah, I'm really excited to do this thing video, guys. This thing video, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it, okay? And all of me saying, let's get into the video. So guys, just letting you know that these wasps, Polistis canadensis, their nest could grow up the size of a dinner plate. Which dinner plate, you guys might ask? A large dinner plate. That's how big the nest could grow, which is really interesting. And when I when I searched that up, I was like, what the heck? Um, um, these, they're kind of friendly wasps but they're mostly aggressive, so I recommend you guys to stay away, okay? Any red wasps, don't take the risk getting close to them. You don't know if it's a candidensis. Um, be careful to Carolina. Carolinas are a little friendly, but a little bit aggressive. Not as much as aggressive as a candidensis. So, um, yeah. I think they could grow up bigger than this. I don't know. Or that's the maximum size. I don't know. But it's worth catching this one for the video, so yeah. Uh, um, I'll get back to you guys when it's ready to get stung by the red paper wasp. Hi, Mango just here, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the red paper wasp. Polistis kinetensis. Are you guys ready? more than the paper was and the honeybee uh, what is this a three yes what is this I'm gonna forget where it's ow <laughs> stung me right there stung me right there ow Pause. Ow, 
right there to me. Ooh. I didn't expect you to sting me there. I wanted you to get stung, that's fine. Ow! It feels like this thing, like the it like the paper one. It feels like like a needle. A really thin needle again. Like piercing into my skin. Like trying to like go under my skin but wasn't able to. Ooh. Ah, my muscle is starting to hurt. What is this? Some kind of hybrid. Ow. My muscle is starting to hurt. I don't know if that's normal. Oh, you see how red it's getting like around here? Ooh. <sighs> Ow. Ah, my muscle. That didn't happen with the other one. With the with the paper wads and the and the honeybee. That didn't happen before. <sighs> oh. Okay guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Ow! Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And if we get to likes in this video, I will get stung by the Matabur in the next video. If I can find it. Which I hope I do. And you guys wonder what's wrong with my hair. I got a haircut like four days ago, so yeah. Look, look, look. It's swelling. <laughs> All that said, I'm Mango Juice here, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And if there's kids watching this video, do not try this at home at all. I'm an expert. I know I'm 13, but I'm an expert. I study these. I check their, their how dangerous can they, they be, and my body is immune to almost anything, so that's why I do this. Well, kind of almost anything. It's like 50%. Hi, Mangus here, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye.